and Jeff said there was a land boom out here. I had no idea. Just past 435, 437 must be there. You didn't tell us Cousin Jeff was rich. Who cares about rich? I'm here to see the new baby. I want to see the baby, too. Oh, babies do is cry. Wow. I didn't know Cousin Jeff and Marie had such a big house. Oh, my. Wow, this is Cousin Jeff's house. Oh. seen enough snow. Hey, how you been? Good to see you. Oh, Lord, how old is that baby now? Uh, not old enough. <laughs> oh. Hey, Claire. Good oh. to see you. Good to see you. Gosh, you all look so good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Marie. <laughs> how you doing? Oh, hey. Oh, I was doing the wash. <laughs> hey, Josh and Daddy, you guys are sprouting like weeds. <laughs> you must be the famous Nathaniel I've heard so much about. Hi. Hi. You look like Joe. He's taller. <laughs> well, enough of this chit chat. I want to see the baby. Oh, Haley's napping. Well, when she wakes up, you can change her and bathe her and feed her. Oh, wet diapers. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> oh this is some place, oh, Jeff. Wow. Thanks. Great Caesar's boots. Oh, <laughs> done a beautiful job. It's it's good. Good. We're, we're still working on it. Yeah. Oh, I love this room. Just beautiful. <laughs> Well? Well, what? Where is it? Oh, wouldn't you rather, like, uh, you know, have a drink with the ladies? You know, we catch up on what you've been up to, where you've been. You look amazing. You're as tall as I am. You gonna make me beg? Russ, you won't believe it. She is the sweetest thing on four wheels. Boys and their toys. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you here. We've really been looking forward to it. Oh. Thank you. The bedrooms are downstairs. Russell Green. Maybe you passed me and my family out on the highway. Maybe you were driving some fancy sports car or an old beat-up four-door. Or maybe you've had some hard times like us and you're out on the road with your house hitched up behind you and America the beautiful up ahead. But whoever you are, you be sure to give us a wave next time you drive by because we're your neighbors and we're all on the road together. Bow kind. Why are you scared? Because you jumped out at me. What's all the screaming? The real girl scared them. What? That will be me. Well, everyone looks okay now, huh? Be careful, Bob. I'm sorry. Nathaniel's the boy I was telling you about. Listen, Bob's just a big kid. You don't have to be scared. He won't hurt you, okay? Okay. These are the greens. Claire? Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm Russell. Hi. Hi. This is my fort. I made it myself. <laughs> yeah, well, we can see that, Bob. I cannot believe what a mess you made of this place. Room check before dinner, got it? Got it. <laughs> Pull fort. Come on in. Check it out. And when our mother died last spring... She's in heaven. Yeah, that's right, Bob. We inherited...
inherited by you? I was in the will. <laughs> it must be a great help to have him around with the baby. They won't let me. Maybe when Haley gets a bit older. I can't touch her. They'd be afraid I'd do something wrong, like give her a bath in boiling water. Bob, why don't you finish your dinner? So you guys have been traveling all around the country. That must be pretty exciting, huh? That's great. We've had a lot of adventures. <laughs> With your mom teaching you, you can't beat that. Oh, thank you. Speaking of which, Josh, I don't believe I've seen you crack that book. Now, aren't you supposed to be doing a book report? Yes, on the Jungle Book. But it's a total bore. I can't believe you just said that. I love Kipling. For these are the laws of the jungle, and many and mighty are they, that the head and the hoofs of the law and the haunch and the hump is obey. Dinah, you are seriously depraved. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to read. A little bit. Really? What kind of things do you like to read? Cookbooks. I like to bake cookies. Well, I like to eat cookies, so you must bake some for us. They won't let me. They're afraid I'll bake something. Well, who is ready for dessert? I'll help you. Oh, no, I'll help Maria. I know you guys want to get to that hot dog. No, actually, I want to get to some ice cream. I'll bring you some. Oh, my. Is this woman a saint? When she wants to be. Hmm. Well, Bob, don't you like cars? I like cars a lot. But, Jeff... Maybe it's dangerous with all the moving parts. Yeah, maybe. Excuse me, I had to use the restroom. Really? They let you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, that if he has to work in here, I can happily go back to the trailer. Oh, don't worry, Hattie. He hardly ever comes in this office anymore. Not since the baby. Oh. Really? Uh-huh. He's, um, rented another office in town. Lucky for him. Marie, kids grow up in the blink of an eye. I promise you. Grandma, I have tangles on tangles. <laughs> Sit down. <clears throat> oh. Cool, pensium. How much RAM? 16 megs and a 28.8 modem. You're on the internet? The password is Haley. Just holler if you need anything. Thank you. What language were you two speaking just now? Computer ease, Grandma. You've got to get connected. You're really comfortable with all this, aren't you? Yeah. We've had computers in school since third grade. Just wait. I'll be surfing the web in no time. Don't let me draw. Quit it? Can't help it. The bed is lumpy. The bed is great. This book is what's lumpy. What are you doing? The store doesn't have a lock on it. So? So? I don't want people coming in that aren't invited. Like who? Bob? Hmm. What you gonna do? Hug you to death? sleep too much during the day. Maybe you'd like to try to walk her. Just look here. Just try it, OK? 
Okay, you'll get a good night's sleep for once. Fine. Jeff will come around. Uh, uh, it's hard, Jeff, but work at home. Add to it his mother dying and then Bob moving in here. I don't envy the guy. We were double shifts when Josh was six months. <laughs> yeah. As I recall, you and I went at it pretty good. Because the good outweighs the bad. Eventually. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't take this anymore. I, I can't take this anymore. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Making the crochet in? I think it's just all it means is paying the rent. There you go. Hey, look, I got a great idea. Look, I'm dry to the bone. Let me bring out some drinks for us. Can you do that? Sure, I can. Bob's a good kid. Uh huh. <clears throat> I guess it's allowed for brothers to get on each other's nerves every once in a while. You know, he used to have a lot more patience when he was 10, but that was a long time ago. Have you seen the speedometer on this baby? One, four, oh. <laughs> Just where did you plan on going, one, four, oh? Oh, this is big sky country, Russ. You gotta ride at your own risk. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Getting everywhere water, my son. That's okay. I could go for something sweet, though. Me, too. Check the cupboards. Maybe you got some cookies around. No cookies around. Marie says they go straight to her legs. Well, you said you know how to make them. Really good ones. So what are we waiting for? They get mad. Marie and Aunt Claire are out shopping. Grandma's downstairs. Jeff and Uncle Russell aren't coming out of that garage for anything. I'll help you clean up.
we need melted butter. Now mix everything, okay? to get us some drinks, not burn down the house. What were you doing? Looking cookies. Well, you know better than that. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry isn't good enough. It was just an accident. Yeah, it was just an accident. Nobody would do something like this on purpose. Nathaniel, what was your part in this? Well, I kind of... It was my fault. I did it. That's right, and you're going to clean it up, the whole kitchen, top to bottom. That isn't necessary. Yes, it is. It's extremely necessary. He made the mess. He takes responsibility for it. Jeff! No, we're not going to coddle him anymore. Now, get busy. I'll be in the garage. Nathaniel, come and help me figure out the computer. Sure. Marie, it seems like you two have some things to sort out. Maybe this isn't a good time for us to be here. No, please stay. I want you to. No. I am the one who should leave. I better go check on the baby. I'll come with you. He makes me wait in the car. What? Let me go places. He won't let me come in. He makes me wait in the car. He should not do that. This is my brother. You guys must be sorry you accepted our invitation. Oh, no, we're always happy to see you. Just wish things weren't so hard. If there's anything at all we can do. No, <laughs> it's, it's just such an adjustment. It... <laughs> A year ago, I was decorating houses all up and down the valley. Now I'm lucky if my own house doesn't look like a federal disaster area. Well, have you considered going back to work part-time? I'm having a hard enough time being a good mom. I don't know how you ever managed it. Raising a family, teaching school. Oh, I didn't. I made sacrifices. But I had a lot of help. Help is in short supply around here. Russell says the car's almost done. Maybe when Jeff gets up behind him. If he does, he'll just find something else to replace it. What do you mean? We share the same house, sleep in the same bed. Sometimes I feel I... <laughs> I know I'm less than I did when we were dating. When did this begin? With Bob? No. Sometimes I just think Bob is an excuse. It was right after Haley was born. I saw Jeff less and less. And then when Bob came, it just made things worse. Have you discussed this with Jeff? No. I mean, it's so obvious. Oh, Marie. You have to talk to him. Before the whole thing blows up. I want to help clean up. 
Do you hear what Jay said? He wants me to do it. So, if I accidentally started to help, that'd be okay, wouldn't it? Because it just tell. Try not to bend a nut this time. Okay. You're funny, you know that? Purpose funny, I mean. Like the time you jumped out and scared me. Is it bad to be funny? No, it's good. It's just that I thought. The people with Down syndrome can make jokes. I'm just like everybody else. And I've had the same things. I want the same things. I just don't ever get them. That's all. You deserve them. You didn't deserve to get in trouble today. It's my fault. They're like blaming me. Like Cinderella. Only they don't make me do any work. Well, they make you work right now. I know. Cool. Isn't it? Cool? Yeah. They usually don't let me do anything. I like doing stuff. Hey, buddy, want to help us work on the car? You got something on your mind? Kind of. Well, you want to kind of tell us? It's about the fire. Bob didn't start it. I did. It's nice trying it, Daniel. Bob put you up to this? Now, hold on a minute. I was trying to clean the stove, and I put the towel on the burner, and it caught fire. Look, I'm real glad you two are buddies, but you don't have to protect him. Not. You just don't want to believe me. You want to believe that he did. Does that taste good? Bob? What have you done to the baby? Nothing. You put something in her mouth. Yeah. Where did it go? Jeff? Jeff, help me, please! What is it? What is it? What's he that? gave her something. She ate it. I don't, I don't know what it is. What did you give the baby? What did you give the baby, Bob? What did you give the baby, Bob? This. This must have dropped out again. A pacifier? All this because of a stupid pacifier? I didn't know. You didn't know? You should have known. You should have been watching the baby. How dare you say that? When was the last time you got up for a midnight feeding? Well, when was the last time you brought home a paycheck? I do plenty around here, haven't you noticed? You know, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you and your brother and your, and your stupid car. Why don't you just take him and get out? You don't mean that. Jeffrey! Easy. Sorry you had to see that. How embarrassing. It's nonsense. If you can't yell and scream in front of your family, where can you? Change is always hard. And you've been through such a lot of strain. And it never seems to end. What makes it worse is, is that we just seem to make it harder on ourselves. I know. Jeff used to be my best friend. Now I don't know where he is anymore. It's... It's... It's like he checked out. It's not true. And I'm here. And I'm always around the house. This difference between being here and being here for her. Look, 
we all have responsibilities. My job is to earn a living for my family. And you do a fine job of it. But maybe when you're not doing that, tinkering with that old car is not the best place to be. Okay. Hey, I admit, I'd like to escape. I mean, can you blame me, though? I mean, you've seen what it's like around here. Marion needs a break, too. And she's not getting one. Yeah, well, with a six-month-old and a 20-year-old going on eight, nobody really gets a break around here, believe me. Come in. Hi. Funny, I need some company. Sure. Okay. Mind if I shed some light on the subject? No, go ahead. We feel really bad about what happened, and we know it's not your fault. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. I heard just say once that they never fought bad until I came. Well, that doesn't make it your fault. This is pretty cool. What bad guys are you fighting? I don't fight anybody. It's just... Sometimes... It's a good place to be. A place for myself. I think I know something that might help you snap you out of it. How? By watching TV. It's not just TV. It's educational TV. It's better than reading the book. Jeff, pack your bags. You serious? You bet I am. I want you out of here. You and Marie. I've just heard that you haven't had any time together for six months. And that's going to change. Tonight, the cousins are taking over. Mama, that's the best idea I've heard in a long time. Never left the baby alone for a whole night. I think between the three of us, we're qualified. Besides, you got the phone number here. Call any time you want. Every hour on the hour, if you have to. Just so long as it's from someplace else. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I, uh, I better get back in. I've seen them smile like that since their wedding. Well, I'm glad we were able to give them the opportunity. Yeah. Maybe now they can sort some of these things out. Yeah. They are in a rough patch, all right. I think there's definitely love there. Does that include everyone? I hope so. You look like an old pro tonight, rocking the baby. Just like riding a bicycle. But I've forgotten how much fun it is. You know, how hopeful a baby makes you feel. Tell you the truth, I miss it. Likewise. Well, so is that nostalgia? Or something else. In a few years, we're going to be grandparents. Our youngest is 13. We did make 
have some terrific babies, didn't we? You sure did. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, mine. Okay. Oh. Here we go. I'll yeah. just kind of spread out and keep yeah. both sides warm. You do that. Mm -hmm. I would have his bottle. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Don't worry, is that too hot? I've seen Marie do it and lots of times. Well, if she stopped. I bet she's still hungry. Smiled at me. <laughs> of course she did. Your Uncle Bob. She knows you. Would you like to hold her? I'm not supposed to. Then why don't we hold her together? Somebody sure concentrating. Morning, Russell. Good morning, Mama. Mama, I'm proud of you. For what for? Well, these things can be intimidating, but you decided you wanted to learn how to use one. You just sat down and did it. Not that big a deal. That sure is. Pretty soon you're going to be driving us all down that information superhighway. <laughs> Learning a lot? Uh, learning plenty. Well, go to it, Mama. Hello, everyone. Hey. Well, looks like somebody had a nice night. Hey, fantastic. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. I mean, we just, we stayed in our favorite cabin, oh. watched the sunrise over the mountain. Uh, mm. Had a wonderful breakfast and our favorite yeah. dive. <laughs> I felt naked without my diaper bag. How was she? Oh, she was a dream. We really had a chance to get things straight, find each other again, talk. Is it okay? Yeah. We made some decisions about how to stay on track. We're going to put Bob in a home. A home? You mean a home? You mean the place where they can... Lock me away, like a hospital. Bob, nobody's going to lock you away, buddy. He just wants you to be happy. You promised Mama. You promised you wouldn't do that. Come on, Bob, don't make a scene. You just want to do what's right, that's all. No, it's all for you. I'm not going to any hospital. You can't make me. Come on, Bob. Bob. Spark plug wrench. Do you think I'm smart? No. 
any nine-year-old that knows the difference between a spark plug wrench and a lug wrench, yeah, I'd have to say he's pretty smart. Oh, Bob knows stuff, too. How come nobody thinks he's smart? Because he was born with a disability. And people with disabilities usually get the short end of the stick. But that's not fair. I mean, Bob didn't do anything wrong. No, he didn't. And no, it's not fair. But what's fair in this life and what happens don't always go hand in hand. You ought to know that better than anybody. My, my. A philosophical discussion over a car engine. I'm impressed. Well, Nathaniel's feeling bad about Bob. That's because he's got a big heart, unlike a few people I could mention. Mama, they're doing what they have to do. And we shouldn't mix in their affairs. Hard as that is sometimes. I can still have a low opinion of them, can I? Thanks, Mama. You're making this so much easier on all of us. Why should I make it easier for people to do the wrong thing? At my age, I know the difference. <sighs> Has anyone seen Bob? No, I hadn't been in here. Maybe he's packing. No, he's gone. I can't find him anywhere. here. It must be freezing. Oh, okay. We have some hot chocolate inside. Ah, I want to wait out here. Don't worry, Nathaniel. He'll come back safe and sound. It's weird, Aunt Claire. I mean, part of me wants Bob found, but the other part wants him to be free. I know what you mean, honey. I feel the same. I'm going to keep that chocolate hot for you. Bob, if you're in here, I have one thing to say. You're in a lot of trouble, and I don't want to be around when they find you. What are they going to do to me? Not this. Great disguise, Bob. Anything? He has two deputies cruising the area. Yeah, uh, that's what we've been doing, nothing but cruising. It's probably freezing. Jeff, what have I done? 
sure didn't do anything I didn't do to. I smell pizza. Sit, and I'll get you some. Can I eat in the den? What's wrong with eating with us out here in the kitchen? Well, I want to keep a lookout for Bob. You know, just in case. Go ahead, Nathaniel. None of us are much company anyhow, all right? Thanks. Um, de -dum. Yeah, da -da. Man, don't eat the box. A little way is hard to work. Even when you're not going anywhere? <laughs> well, looks like we found our missing person. You're not gonna make me go back, are you? Oh, please. He's my friend, and they don't want him. I'm afraid it's not that simple, Nathaniel. Sure it is. I won't make trouble. I sleep at the floor. That's not what I mean, Bob. Jeff's your legal guardian. He has to have a say in whatever you do. He doesn't care. He never did. I don't believe that. I do. I think he cares. He just has a hard time showing it. Then why do they always make me stay in my room? Why is he so angry with me? Why doesn't he let me do whatever I want? Well... Have you ever asked him those questions? He get mad at me. You ever tried? You're the younger brother here, but that doesn't mean you can't be the bigger man. Give him that chance. Bob, where were you? In the trailer. He wanted to come with us. Well, at least he's all right. But I'm not all right. Look, Bob, I know you're not happy with our decision. You don't know anything about me. You don't even try. Sure I have. When? Come on, Bob, this isn't the time or place. See? I told you he doesn't care. Look, Bob, I've got a family I've got to take care of. I'm family, too. You're doing great. Go ahead. I want to be a part of this family. Not shunning all that doubt. I'm Haley's uncle. I did fun with her when you were gone. You were with the baby? She stopped crying the minute she saw him. He knew what formula to give her. He made it himself. I can't be part of this family. But I want something for me, too. I want to be independent. I want to do things. school. Learn how to take care of myself. I didn't think you could handle it. I don't want to live here forever. I want to be my own person. Please help me. I will if you let me. I love you, Mom. Would you like to hold your knees? 
Hi, Haley. By the way, Josh, they flunked your book report. What? You're kidding. Why? It was a great report. And you said your favorite part was the little girl pulling Mowgli out of the uh, jungle at the end? That didn't happen in the book, only in the movie. Oh. That was a girl, wasn't there? Uh, no, not in the book. There's at least the jungle, right? <laughs>